Uh, we are in week four. We're talking about weather this week. So um, on the agenda, you should see that we started notes yesterday. Some of you have sent me your U.S. city. Please make sure you are sending that to me ASAP uh, because Thursday we are going to go over the project guidelines. Um, not guidelines here. Um, so Thursday we'll go over those guidelines. So please have your city by then. Okay. Um, Today you're looking at the notes and the Google survey along with the five practice conversions have been posted on under the classwork here. So you see survey right here and converting air pressure right here. Um, please make sure you work your way through those. All right, let's talk about the bell ringers and the starters here. Um, so page 14, this is what it looks like. Here's the information on it. Um, what are the three graphs named on the top of the page? Well, if we take a look here, here's the three graphs. Temperature zones, atmospheric pressure, and water vapor. We're not going to play with bubbles right now. Okay, bring it upstairs. James says hello. Misses you guys. I miss you guys as well. Um, so those are the three graphs. All right. What are the names of the three boundaries? Those are those dotted lines. Okay, and if you look on the graphs, you see them right down. Let's see if we can get it, zoom in a little bit here. There we are. We see them right here: tropopause, stratopause, and mesopause. Okay, those are those layers. I'm gonna pull this up right here. So those are the three. Again, here are the three layer names, and it looks like we moved the picture over too much. There we are. Uh, here are the three layer names for the first one. The titles are temperature zones, atmospheric pressure, and water vapor. The three boundaries, also known as yeah, interfaces. I don't know why I have on ears. Tropopause, stratopause, and mesopause. Those are the three boundaries. Those are also called interfaces. Which interface has the coldest temperature is number three, and then which layer is closest to the Earth? Okay, so we already did this. The three graph names, the three boundaries. Um, the coldest interface, if we look here, these dotted lines tell you the temperature. So the mesopause is the coldest at negative 90 degrees, and that's Celsius. And the troposphere right down here is the closest to the Earth. All weather found is found in the troposphere. So that was yesterday's bell ringer. <clears throat> Today, which layer of the atmosphere contains the ozone? Um, this is important. We've covered it a few different times. That is going to be the strato um, sphere. Okay, the stratosphere contains the ozone. All weather occurs in the tropo sphere. The thermosphere extends up to about 600 kilometers. That's a rough estimate, but according to your ESRT, which is all the values we want to use, uh, according to your ESRT, it is 600 kilometers. The stratopause, I'm going to have to try and remember that off the top of my head, but kilometers is key here. Um, so let's take a peek. I'm going to go to the laser here. Uh, stratopause in kilometers. So stratosphere and stratopause is right here. And if we follow it over, we notice it's either between 25 and 50 or 40 and 80. And we don't know what that is. If you look up, Miles is right here on the right. Now, here's a hint. We don't like to use miles in terms of a unit because we are science and we like to use the metric system. So miles goes up by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, all the way up. Kilometers goes up by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. So this would be 50 kilometers. The stratopause is at 50 kilometers. Okay, 50 kilometers for the stratopause. So stratopause should be 50 kilometers. Don't forget your units. And almost all water vapor, if you look on the far right, is found in the troposphere. And that is because 
all weather occurs here. And we need water in the water cycle for weather. Okay, so that's very important. That's the whole key of this unit. All weather occurs in the troposphere. That troposphere is the closest to the surface, and it contains almost all water vapor. Today you're going to finish up the notes. That form I listed is due by the end of the day Friday, and do not forget to pick your U.S. city. If you want to get ahead of the game, um, Wednesday starter, just make sure that you have that that city because we can talk about it on Thursday. You're going to finish up notes 8.4. We're going to focus this rest of the week on practice conversions um, using this essentially um, part of the reference table, which is the bottom of 13. Okay, this is the bottom of 13. Um, all the converting and information is found right here. You can also get a hint here. So pay attention to that. Um, email me if you have questions. I'm going to keep following my email for those project submissions and hope you guys have a good Tuesday. Uh, do not forget your classwork is right in here. The stream should flow through everything. Here's your weather data. For some reason, it hasn't been previewing well. You might need to download it. Uh, might be my internet connection here or it might be yours. All right, guys, um, look forward to speaking with you on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday.